Hello, and welcome back to Inquisitor Martyr. Last time, we faced off against what is effectively the known raiding party for the Cabal of the Jagged Maze, and we beat them, found that they were using a former Imperial Psyker to track us, and doing what the Puritans do, immediately shot him. So, now we have to talk to Metrodora Th Thelema, and I think that might be it for this. Magos, I need an explanation why you, as a janitor, are so well-versed in the forbidden Drukhari law. And you're absolutely right. I told you that all of this was classified, but for the sake of transparency, I will tell you the truth. I grew up on a small mining colony that fell prey to a dark elder raiding party. They took me to an immoculous laboratory. I don't want to go into details. Suffice to say, that creature experimented on me, testing the effects of various drugs on the human physique. I was rescued by an Adeptus Mechanicus strike force, who spent a long time studying the various substances in my system. Eventually, I joined their ranks, but I could never forget the atrocities of that despicable Xenox race. It is indeed a remarkable story. Rest assured, Magos, the time of your reckoning has come. Oh, oh, we have another part. I thought we were totally done. I was thinking, man, that was really short. Nope, now we have the Grim Harvest. Inquisitor, you have a message from the Caligari Conclave. I've been expecting this for a while. My job is not done in this subsector. Inquisitor, I require your expertise once again. The pacification of the Triglav subsector is still underway, and the Astra Militarum forces are occupied on various worlds where long isolation steered billions away from the path of righteousness. Meanwhile, Lord Bertram, the governor of the Clamoris system, has reported an attack by Xenos raiders on his palace. In light of your recent discoveries in the Aureus system, I strongly suspect that this might be the handiwork of the Dark Elder again. The Clamorous system is the administrative center of the subsector, and we need to act immediately. He won't last until the Imperial forces arrive. I want you to save the Governor, otherwise we have another chaotic situation on our hands. An Inquisitor's work is never done. Captain, any luck with establishing contact with the Governor? I'll try to get closer to the palace then. I was sitting here thinking, during, while I was loading in, uh, this game actually has kind of the trappings of, or at least like, the framework of what could be a really cool shooter. Because I, I cut this out every episode. By the Emperor, an engine of pain! That, uh, yep, that's a Talos. But one thing I was gonna say is you have in in the menus when I go to a planet, it zooms in on like the system, and then it zooms in on the planet and has this cool animation, and then each planet has you know a random allotment of missions. And I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to have Kind of a galactic conquest from original Battlefront 2, but you have a turn and then all these other factions take turns, and then the random missions that spawn are the missions for that turn that you can partake in if you are on a planet, or you have forces on the planet. I just thought it'd be really cool. And I mean, outside of, you know, the maps needing a bit of work for a first-person shooter, 
you could have an interesting set of encounters, especially if it was team-based. You know, playing as space marines, or... I mean, you could even break down space marines depending on faction. You could have Imperial Guard, uh, uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus, you could play as Chaos, all this stuff. I think it'd be cool. It'd give a new... A kind of new perspective, I would say. Look! Look at those things! Shoot at them, not me! Get locked. Yes! Do it! Attack the holograms! You fool! You bumbling buffoon! You absolute imbecile! Quit shooting me! I need you to pay more attention when holograms are up. Was that my grenade? Did he just bounce it off his face? I mean, more power to him if he can just ricochet a grenade off the face, but... Kinda rude. Wow, that damage. That was a times 8 multiplier. And I feel bad. Look at that. 2,000 damage to his health. Off the 8 times multiplier. It's like a 250 damage shot normally. Target acquired. What am I using on this guy? A flashlight? Okay, he's suppressed. I can hopefully mag dump now. Hopefully all the dot stacks heal me enough. Nope, they are not going to heal me enough. <laughs> As I'm taking the damage, just looking at my health go down, I'm like, come on. Those little 14 HP ticks better be helping, but nah. They're not, they're not pulling enough work. Hey, shoot the holograms. You know you wanna. They're right in front of you. Almost dead. Yeah, Talos, those are so cool. And oddly enough, they aren't in... Dawn of War 2, or 1. These sentient machines serve some cruel masters. It's not a simple raiding party. Look at that thing. It's cool. It's huge. It's very, very dangerous. Then we have the Medusa over here. Which, using that as plural, is accurate. Instead of Medusas. I think you kind of follow a similar... It's, I think it's a similar rule as you would with, like, it's not octopuses, it's octopi. Medusa instead of med medusas. Go for a headshot. Man, that is impressive. Captain, I want you to keep all battle stations manned and initiate emergency warp drive protocols. I strongly suspect that this wasn't a strike against the governor, but a coordinated invasion of the entire planet. We should be prepared for all contingencies.
You are addressing the agent of the Holy Inquisition, Governor. Just killed one. Oh, I'll deal with them. Not gonna lie, I'm not looking forward to fighting these other Taloses. They're not easy to kill. At least with my gear, maybe... I don't know, I could probably swap back off the grav pistols. I was looking at that between episodes, I was like, do I want to switch out those again? I was looking at, like, I could use a shotgun, but I'm thinking I'm not getting close enough to shotgun stuff. This character's so flimsy, I can't. I just flat out can't. So my other options are a las gun, you know, iffy, a las sniper, iffy again. I almost feel like I should just slap an exodus rifle out again, because those did good damage. since I'm built for both target uh, in sight energy and ballistic weapons I can kind of just use whatever and do pretty solid it's just the concern of how much damage output am I gonna have and just in general what my DPS is gonna look like Bomb big sniper hits. Ooh. Boy, I can't wait to be doing 2k to that Talos again. See, that's the other thing is I think it might be good to run an Exodus rifle for those harder targets. Because I, I need some... I mean, the grab pistols are anti-armor. Oh, wow, I already failed. So it turns out, listening to the governor prattle on about his useless existence is not a good and constructive use of time. Good to know. Also, my grav pistols might actually be more effective at taking out a Talos than initially expected. Which is, of course, good news. Because it makes this fight go a lot smoother. need them to distract him a little longer. Or at all, you know, that would have been appreciated. Because if you look, I'm dealing 200 damage per hit, and I can rapid fire this pretty quick. And then, yeah, I'm not doing a lot of suppression damage, but I'm able to distract it pretty well. The fire rate and damage isn't great, but I'll take what I can get. I'm out of stims, which is not good, but if I can drop this one, I can rush to the other side and distract the other one. Yeah, 
Yeah, 200 crits for 500. Not fantastic, but I'm able to just keep firing. Okay, good. That one's down. Now we gotta run to the other side and stop the other one from breaking in. You gotta be kidding me. How many guys are there? And I can't realistically take them all on. If I can ditch some of them... Ooh, Tech Priest Shrine. That is what I need. What does it give me? Damage reduction. Not exactly the greatest, given the fact that I have a ton of guys trying to kill me. But whatever. Okay, so we've picked off all of them. Just gotta deal with this slice. Down. And now, hopefully, just, oh, there's a medical box. Perfect. I think I should realistically be making good time. Okay, let's try to clear out these guys. Okay, cool, it's just the towels left. We got one heal left, we got those things, hopefully the hologram's distracting a bit. They aren't. Classic. But, hopefully we can whittle them down enough. Okay, finally broke aggro to focus those holograms so I can beat him at this point. And we have him suppressed.
Oh wow, that was it. Alright. I'm gonna see if there's anybody left, because I might as well get all the XP I can milk off this fight. Oh, man. That fight was... It wasn't bad, but it was rough. I feel like the Exodus Rifle would have actually done more harm than good, considering... Just reload time. Yeah, I couldn't do a ton of damage per shot, but I could just dump rounds. And that's... At this point, that's pretty much what I needed. Oh yeah, these guys, I completely forgot they were here. That's a missed shot. Oh wow, it actually went through, cool. I figured it was just gonna be like, nope, you hit a box. Yeah, and all these champions, these are... free XP and free loot. I'd have to be pretty stupid to pass these up. Target acquired. Even if they're annoying to fight, that arc blade might have a use for it. Uh. Push comes to so shove, I can just scrap it and get free stuff. I zoned out and missed the times eight initially. Ah, oh, I hate that. But other than that partway through the mission failure, this was pretty good. Could have been better, but I think I'll keep the grav pistols a little longer. Against against Talos is I need the damage. And the consistent never needing a reload just saves me. As piddly as the damage can be at times, it the time it took to fire 10 shots, I couldn't get a fully charged sniper round off. Sure, if I use the Exus Rifle, I most likely could actually probably outdo the damage, but at that point I'm just kind of... I'm just banking on weird stuff happening, you know? And of course, it's five shots and a reload. I, at that point, every shot has to count, or I'm wasting DPS and time. Man, how many enemies are here? I love how there's this huge area. The Talos isn't even over here. It was before all this. This is just extra crap to fight. And just like, yeah, throw in some extra little guys everywhere. Hoping there'd be another chest to open. Alright, so that is all for now. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button, it helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.